Hey guys, it's Drew with Future Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about a useful tool you can use in your coin business that I overlooked for a long period of time. Let's get this video started. So a few videos back, we ended up submitting this 1877cc $20 gold piece. It came back CAC approved. And so we shared it in that video and we had someone reach out to us. His name was Tyler McManus. He also has a YouTube channel. We can link that down below. But he was really interested in this coin from the get-go and he just had a CAC submission come back on his end and so what we got, were able to do was work a deal out to where we could send him this coin and get a bunch of coins in return and a little cash on top. And how is this useful? Why is it a useful tool for you in your coin business? Well, if you lay it out in kind of a grouping of time, what coin dealers want to do is they want to get inventory and then go back to cash and then get more inventory. But what this trade allowed us to do was allowed us to get, go right back to cash and get some inventory for us to use as well. You know, it'd be one thing to sell the CC20, make some good money on it, you know, sit on cash for a week or two weeks while new inventory comes in. But Tyler allowed us to not only sell this beautiful 20, but also pick up some really interesting coins here. So what does this all mean? Why is this important to you? Well, you know, if if we were just like we were saying to sell this coin in cash, get our money back, we would have to allocate more time, a lot of resources, more miles on the car, more planning to get all this inventory to you guys. And most of the time, that's where a lot of our costs are incurred. So having a trade like this makes it really good because we're able to offer coins at an affordable price. And that's what you can do with your coin business. And so let's take a quick look, show you guys all these cool new purchases that we got for this trade. We hope you enjoy them. Wanted to film the CC20 before it heads out, guys. If you guys want to check out what we traded for this coin, see more photos of those coins, acousticcollectibles.com. Just a really fantastic piece. Let's start off with tray number one here. We have this 1891S Morgan Dollar, nicely rim-toned. Uh, this one was great, MS63 by NGC. Uh, 81Ss end up selling for around 300 bucks, 250 bucks, 275. Offering a better date at $300 was a, a good thought process of mine since we got it for a good price. We have this 810 Morgan Dollar. Has a little bit of a charm to it. Has a little uh, rim toning right by the date. Nice luster of the coin as well. And so uh, definitely a cool pickup. We have this 1886 Morgan Dollar. And like I said, Tyler sent these coins into CAC. And uh, some came back cacked. Some come, came back gold cacked. This one came back gold cack, which is pretty interesting. Most of the time you get lower grade type of uh, type of gold cacks, so but this one's a 65. So probably a nice 66 plus by today's standards. It's hard to say though, since I'm not in the grading room when they uh, you know put the coin in a new slab, but definitely gonna keep it the way it is. Common date 41 proof Lincoln cent in, in uh, 64 red brown. Nothing too crazy about this coin. We have this 1892 Colombian half dollar, almost blast white, has a few toning spots on the obverse. Just a really beautiful coin, and it's really tough to find in a rattler holder. Then we have a, this 1862 Civil War date, Indian Princess gold dollar. It's great mint 862, like I said, and it is CAC approved. Has gorgeous color to the coin. Sometimes these coins were harshly dipped, and uh, yeah, but all original right there. We have this 91 Philly. It's great, MS62 has a few spots on it as well, but definitely a whole, nice wholesome coin. We have a key date, 95.0 Morgan Dollar. A little bit of a lower grade here, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, just a, a decent hole filler if you wanna start a Morgan Dollar set. We have a key date, 28 piece dollar. Overall, a nice off-white looking coin. Has a few hits on the face, as you can see there. And uh, yeah, not too bad of a coin. Has a nice true view to it as well. Then we have this 1887S seated diamonds created XF40. It is CAC approved. A lot of seated stuff has been cleaned and beat up over the years. But this one is mostly original. That's why CAC liked it. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to take a quick break in this video to show you guys everything that we've sold in the past three days. We have 23 orders laying in front of us, and it's been really phenomenal. So thankful for you guys. If you guys want to offer us any coins, 
when you need them desperately, you can text me or call me at 832-538-4122. And uh, yeah, let's do some business because uh, we just are so thankful for the outpouring of support and we're trying to find nice coins for collectors. And so let's get back to today's video. First one I wanna show you on the second trade is this 1885 O Morgan dollar. It is great MS62, it's in a rattler. It is a gold CAC approved. I mean, just uh, a really phenomenal coin here. Do like the luster on the coin as well. Almost like an S mint luster of the coin. I think that's why uh, they kind of moved it to a gold CAC instead of a green CAC. It does look a little undergraded as far as marks, but the luster is just phenomenal. We have this 35S uh, Washington Quarter, like we recommended. We try to buy 30s in terms of Washington Quarters from 32 all the way up to uh, 1940, just because there's a little bit more of a demand for that. Buying the 60s and 50s can get a little bit, you know, gen too generic. And so having a nice 30s date there in an OGH holder was an easy pickup for us. We have this 42 Rosie Proof 67 Annex holder. And it has some nice color to the coin, which I think was uh, the reason why we picked this one up. We have just a kind of a common 34 piece dollar in AU53. Nothing too crazy there. Then we have this 1884 Indian head scent. It's graded proof, 66 brown. Has some nice color to the coin. It's just hard to pick up on. I actually sent this coin into CEC for Tyler. And then now he's finally selling it to us. So very thankful for that. We have one of the nicest Morgans of the day here for sure. This 1893 Philly. And it's great at XF45. Definitely a better date. It is CEC approved. Nice, close to original coin. A few things might have happened to it, but definitely nice and wholesome. We have this 1898 Barber Dime. Has some nice toning on both sides of the coin. And that's why we wanted to pick it up. Just something that made it a little bit more interesting. Then we have two Roosevelt dimes to close out this video. This one's great at Mint State 68. A lot come in 67 and 67 plus, but a Mint State 68 Roosevelt dime was something we wanted to try out. Has some nice reverse color to the coin. And to close it all out, we have just a common sample slab with a generic grade of 00. zero. So kind of weird, but nice and something cool that's affordable. But if you guys want to check these out, like I said, AcousticCollectibles.com. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on today's discussion. Uh, do you guys make trades often or do you want to really, uh, you know, get used to getting back the cash so you can plan to get more inventory? It's definitely a different thing that I didn't normally do. And so it's really good that I'm able to implement it now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out more videos when they come out. We're uploading three times a week, and we're so glad that you're here. We'll see you guys in the next video.